Hello everybody! Okay, so this video is a little bit different to my regular videos um, because it's not an unboxing video. I've already posted several unboxing videos for this Space of Sun album. But as the title of this video suggests, what do you do when you have a bunch of extra albums that you're not going to use or keep for yourself? Well, the answer is you make freebies. So today I'm going to show you the process that I go through when I have spare albums that I haven't already given away or kept for myself or given to my group order buyers. Um, I'm going to show you what I do to make use of it because one thing I really don't like to do is just throw away albums. I think it's a huge waste. I'm very big on reusing things, sometimes too much. Um, but yes, yeah, so I will be showing you today how I use the photo books and other things uh, from these albums to make little gifts for um, my friends and buyers. So uh, the things that you will need if you too want to do this activity is spare Face of Sun albums, a glue stick, some scissors and imagination. All right, so let's get cracking. I'm actually gonna start with Pioneer album. Um, so the parts of this album that I'm gonna use today, I obviously have already taken out the good stuff, the photo cards, the highlighter, the stickers, everything. So the only thing that I'm left with is the photo book and the lyric booklet. So I will actually use the lyric booklet later, but for now, I'm gonna look just at the photo book. So as you remember, there are many, 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 many photos in this photo book. We're going to try and use as many as possible. But the first thing that we have to do is take this book apart. So let's go. Okay, so I ripped everything <laughs> in the photo booklet apart. The only parts that I haven't used are the thanks because I racked my brains to try and think of a way that I could use this and I could not think of anything. So this part is the only part I think I'm not going to use, um, but everything else I have <coughs> sorted out. So here's the front cover and the back cover. They're, they're like special because it's slightly thicker. I also kept this for the t name of the album. Um, and then I separated into two different piles. So um, these are full um, page pictures that I will probably keep as a whole picture without cutting up. And then these are um, pages that have multiple pictures, smaller pictures on or like nothing on the back and I will cut these up. So let's do the smaller parts first. Now a couple of these, so like as you can see here, this page for example, there's nothing on the back of here so I can do whatever I want with this. Same with this June one but there's a couple of times like this one here. So we have the Dino picture on one side and then we have the Hoshi picture on the other side. So I'm wondering if I cut this right, I can use both pictures. So let's see. I don't mind, especially this Dino, I don't mind if it's like a little, oh, you can even see like I can hold up to the light and see where the Hoshi picture starts. So if I cut like this here, then da da, see, now I can use both the Hosi picture and the Dino picture. Now, one thing that I do kind of wish I had um, here at my house is a um, guillotine because I do sometimes have trouble with cutting straight. Um, it's really annoying. So uh, sometimes I actually use my guillotine at work um, just to like finish off the edges and make them a little bit cleaner because yeah, I really don't like it when it's not straight but there's not a lot i can do about that unfortunately unless i suddenly become like a cutting genius so what i can do now is i can go through and i can cut some of these out now some of these i'm going to keep like as the square but then for example this dino picture here this will be really good for me to cut out as a um with a border like this so i'm going to go around the body um, like this. 
And then, oh, and then we also have this other Dino picture on the back, which I didn't even realize. So we can use both of these. <clears throat> and even when I have cut out this, um, this part here, I'm not going to throw away. Um, I'm actually going to keep this and I will use this again. Uh, you will see later for various other things. So I don't throw away any scraps. Obviously at the end, I'll have to throw away some things, but um, basically I keep as much as I can because I use all of this stuff later on. So I'm going to go through now and cut up the rest of these things and we'll come back. Okay, so just from going through a few, not the whole booklet, but I managed to sort of separate some of these things out. So the easiest thing to make and also to send to other people as a freebie is a bookmark. Um, and so I've got pretty good at making these now. So here... I have um, four bookmarks that I've kind of like allocated the pictures for. So as you can see, sometimes on the back of the picture, there is like nothing. So this is not like as itself is not a, it's not good enough to be as a bookmark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this picture and then on the back, I'm going to make it like double sided. So we're going to put this picture because, um, excuse me, we have to have this picture uh, used in any way, shape or form. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create, turn this into a different background because I mean, it does look kind of cool with the um, motorcycle headlight, but there's a better way we can do it. And the way that we're going to do that is we are going to use the scraps of the extra. So here you can see there's a couple of the like outlines of things that I cut out, like from here, da 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 da. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna separate it into like colors. So the colors that I want are white, black, and gray. So I'm gonna go through all my little like offshoots and things that I didn't quite use and then I'm gonna get the white and the black and the gray and then we can use that for our um, bookmark. All right, so here I have all my pieces that I found. Um, we've got the black, the white, and then the gray. The reason why I added in the gray as well is I tried it before with just black and white in previous times, and it doesn't look as good. You need like another color. You need three colors kind of so that you can get like an even spread. Also, the good thing about the gray is that it's like all different types of gray. And like sometimes we have this Thing, which is like this the smoke effect that they have in this album it looks super cool and so yeah this gives it a lot more like variation we've got these this lined one as well so I just cut it up really random also sometimes uh, the cut was like curved because I because I cut out the other thing so that gives it like even more extra because sometimes it's not it's annoying when it's just like triangles and stuff but i really don't think too hard about what i'm cutting i just cut it like randomly you don't have to be you don't have to be neat also i uh when i found these so this is like the weird like rock things that they have in this album i'm not going to use these for this bookmark i'm going to save this because i'm going to use this later and also when i saw them i also kept the things that say that the name of the album because I'm going to use this later. Okay, so like I said, this side uh, is going to be the close-up shot of Mingyu. Then we're going to have the um, right other picture on the other side. Now I'm not going to stick it down yet because I'm going to do the background first, but I don't need to cover the whole of this um, with the collage stuff because a lot of it will be covered by this. So another thing that I do to kind of save myself a little bit of time is I get a pen and I do like a rough drawing of like where I don't need to put the um, materials. This is to save time, but also it's to save like, especially this gray, I'm not gonna have a lot of it. So I don't wanna waste it when I don't have to. 
So I think I'm gonna put him about here, which means that I, I'm gonna move it down and then I'm gonna do the like rough kind of thing around like this. So now I know that I don't wanna put um, anything like, around that kind of area. And then we move on to the collage. So this is where the glue stick comes in. And again, you do not need to be neat and tidy with this. I'm just gonna choose randomly and I'm just gonna stick. It doesn't even need to, oh damn, that had a thing on the back. Oh well. Um, you don't even need to, for it to go to like the edges of the thing. It can literally just go like this um, because I will trim it all later. So I'm gonna do like a, as much of a mixture of the colors as possible. Try not to have um, two of the same color next to each other. So we'll start like this. And then I'm gonna use the black. And the beauty of collage is that it can overlap and it doesn't matter. So I'm actually gonna put this one like this and then I'm gonna like cut that off like majorly at the top. I mean, I might even, I think I'm actually gonna reuse some of that because that's big enough for another piece. So that can go there. <clears throat> Okay, what should I do next? Let's do another black. I'm actually normally quite like an organized person. So it's kind of funny to me that I enjoy collaging because it's very like all over the place. Um, but I really, I do, I do enjoy it. And it's kind of nice in a way to not have to like um, worry about everything like matching and everything. Okay, so this is where the gray is useful because I don't want it to be the same color. Um, more white, more white. And sometimes like when I get a bit lazy, I'll like use a big massive piece of something to cover okay so we're getting towards the part where i don't need to um stick oh i can reuse this bit that i cut off nicer i always love it when i can reuse something Okay, I think, let me just double check. Yep, looks good to me. I think that we covered everything that we needed to cover. Um, so I'm actually not gonna stick Mingyu on just yet because I wanna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna cut all the excess off around the edge and then we can put him on and position him properly. So I'm gonna put that one to the side um and then we can move on i need so i need to wait for it to dry otherwise these parts will like slide around but you can get the general impression of the like collaging and stuff like that okay so the other bookmarks is a relatively similar process the only thing that i do need to do is chop the picture um, because this is way too wide, as you can see, for um, Jonghan's one. So I kind of need to figure out how thin I want it to go. Sometimes I make it thicker because it looks like it looks weird if you chop it too much. But then also at the same time, it's a bookmark, so it doesn't want to be like majorly, majorly thick. Um, and I chop off all the excess parts too. Hmm, I think that's a kind of a good thickness for Jongen. I mean, this one, this one we're gonna have a lot. Oh, actually, ooh, okay. The background is plain. So I feel like we don't need to actually do anything like major like we did with the Mingyu. The Mingyu one we had to like totally cover it. So what I'm thinking is that we can actually do some kind of like stripe effect. I think that would be kind of cool. 
and then maybe ooh, maybe we could do like stripes but then the stripes are collaged okay okay so i need some white do i have any actually no it doesn't matter what color because i can just use the strips okay 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 so i'm gonna use this and actually no why don't i use i can use something that's not even remotely usable i'm gonna use someone's leg <laughs> um so yeah this here this this use this so i'm gonna how long is it okay i can use that this part this part is good okay so one's a leg so i'm gonna cut this into strips like so so my idea is I will do it like this, but then the actual like strips will be collage too. Like, should I make Jongan's picture go over the strips or should I not? Maybe I should just have it like this and then Jongan can be like down there. Okay, that works. Um, okay, so then what I need to do is I need to collage these. All right, so those are the three collage strips. Okay, so now I have to wait for those to dry before I can snippy snip them. So let's put those over there. And then I can come back to Mingyu because I think that Mingyu's probably dry by now. Um, so let's chop off the excess of this. And these parts we will have to throw away because they are too small to reuse, unfortunately. Ta-da! Oh, wow. I love turning it around when you, like, finish chopping all the bits off. Okay. And now we can put Mingyu on. So let's glue now. I kind of... So I'll glue this part because I know that the head is going to be on the thing but then I don't really know how far down it's gonna go I don't want to waste my glue so and then I'm gonna glue the rest of it like on here because I know that this part will be stuck and then let's put him on ja ja I think I can just cut him now I'm impatient. <laughs> ba ba! Oh, that looks so cool. I really like the like the color scheme of um, Pioneer album, and it's interesting as well. Actually, this gray here is like it's not really gray. It's like almost. So I say it's blue, um, so it contrasts really well with this. Wow, that looks so cool. <laughs> Why am I so amazed at my own thing? Okay, so this side I think is maybe done. I feel like this needs something more though. So I think I'm going to use, this is where I'm going to use the um, t title of the album. So first thing I'm going to do is, oh, does it need, I feel like this definitely needs something more. I don't know. So first of all, I'm going to cut out this a little bit better. And then I'm not just going to stick it like that. It's super boring. Um, so I want some white. And I'm going to make like a little border for this. I'm literally using everything I can. I don't know why, but adding a border to stuff just makes it like so much better. Okay, so now we can stick this here. Should I put it at the top or should I put it at the bottom? Oh, it kind of looks better at the bottom, I think. Okay. I mean, the main, 
the main side is the other side, but I don't know, I don't want it to look. I don't want one side to be like made to be better than the other. Ta da! So there we go. Thank you. Complete. Now sometimes I laminate these. I made um, I made bookmarks like this for ATs with the ATs album, and they were super cool. Um, but when I tried to laminate them, the cover was too thick and it like messed them up, which I was really sad about. Um, and the laminate like didn't stick together. But this is pretty thin because I didn't actually use card; I just used the paper. So I think maybe I could laminate these. I don't know. Then it would fit better. Okay, I think these might be dry now. So let's try. Now, a lot of this, I think I can reuse the pieces because this is so thin. So I'm going to try and keep these. Here are my strips. Oh, those are cool. This one didn't turn that out that great, but these two look really cool. Okay, and then... Let's put Jong on back on, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like do this essentially. Oh, we don't get, we don't, okay, yeah. Okay, so it will look like that. All right, let's stick. And then, ba ba, woo! That looks cool too. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And then they definitely need something on the back here. Um, I think here. So again, I'm gonna do the tag. Ta da! Wow, it's been 20 minutes. We made two bookmarks so far. <laughs> okay, that's longer than I thought, actually. I thought I was doing this for a much shorter amount of time. It does take a while to do the collaging, to be fair. Um, but yeah, this one is, um, those are two. I'm really happy with both of those, actually. They both look really cool. Okay, so there's other bookmarks like I can make. I'm going to make the bookmarks with Adino um, as well. Maybe Hoshi if I have time. Um, but let's also look at another thing that we can do. So I had this picture of Wanu. Actually, no, let's do Sungwan first. So I love this picture of Sungwan. And I want to do something cool um, with... So one of the things I really like about this version is they have this um, this kind of thing. Like I said before, they're like rocks. So I had this idea that we could put them together and make kind of like a weird frame. So let me show you what I mean by this. So I want it to be on the... I want the white to be on the inside and the black on the outside so what i'll do yeah like this okay um don't need oh i can use no i can't use that for the corner darn unless i do it on the white the black and the white no okay all right so then what i do is i'm gonna glue like the edge the back edge of this and then I'm gonna stick this like this here. So then what it's doing is it's making this like border because then if I get this piece, and I do the same thing like here, what I can do is I can line this up 
and actually it works like really well like look at that and so now it's making like a bought like a frame around the edge i think that's so cool um now i don't definitely don't have enough pieces to do this at the moment so i'm gonna have to go back and find more i'm gonna have to scour this booklet for um the stuff that i need so brb once i get more of this so i found more um considering considering that these are like random it it's weird it's kind of weird to me how well they like line up it's really interesting and here we have the finished result wow okay the corners turned out to be super difficult wow that was much harder than i thought it was going to be to do the booming corners um and it's a little bit like precarious so yeah if we turn it over on the back you can see wow this is like a mess <laughs> um so i'm a bit concerned that some of these are going to just like drop off so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to do some like <coughs> oh keep that i'm going to do some kind of uh thingy work like structural work and i'm just going to take the stick this down here so this will keep the pieces together and stop them from like flying away kind of i'm definitely gonna have to do something about the back of this but i have not figured out what i'm gonna do yet for that but for now let's just focus on making sure that it doesn't fall apart okay so that seems a little bit better i'm definitely gonna have to wait for this to dry before i do anything um, major in terms of cutting but I think what I will do is I'm going to, although it does look kind of cool like this with the like jaggedy border, it is a little bit too jagged for me. So I think I'll, once this is dried, I'm going to cut around it. But I think this looks so cool. Like I really love the, how this turned into the fret. I, I kind of came across this by chance while I was like fiddling around with stuff. And I was like, oh my God, that looks so cool. So yeah, I'm going to leave that to dry and we'll come back to that later. Now, the final thing that I'm going to do now in this video is to do with the Lyric Book Club because we haven't used that yet. Um, okay, so I was wondering why I hadn't used the Lyric Book Club um, before and then I opened it and I remembered that I hate the font of this <laughs> lyric booklet <sighs> so um that's kind of annoying um but i'm gonna have to get over that so what i want to do is i'm going to use this one picture because i think this picture is very nice and i don't really think we need to do a lot to this picture so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a border that goes around the edge of the one picture and to do that i'm going to use the lyrics so i could do i could just do random but i think i'm going to use don quixote because this is the song that one wrote um the lyrics for so i'm gonna take this and then i'm gonna chop up so i'm probably gonna need more than one lyric booklet but luckily i have many so first of all i need to work out what i'm gonna stick oh because this is black hmm so I could technically just like stick it around the edge, but maybe we could use another Wanu picture. Ah, is this bigger? Oh no, it's the same size. Oh, that's annoying. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Can I cut this down any smaller? I don't really want to. I guess I could a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's good. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the border here and then this can be like the back because it's also one ear. Okay, so again, I do not need to fill this entirely, so I can kind of, actually, I think I can just 
because this black is not going to show up anyway. So I think I can just kind of guess um, with this. So let's put one over here for now. And then what we can do is we can chop up the lyrics like this. And then we're going to stick. So I'm going to stick all the way around the edge. I'm also definitely going to try and make sure that the lyrics are random in terms of like the direction that they're facing and all that kind of thing, because I want it to be different. Ah, we don't have enough. <laughs> wow, we were so close. We were so close. Okay, let's get another booklet. We are finished. So this is the finished frame. And if we put one over like this, ba ba, you can see that I did a good job of. Um, there's no black left over. But again. I'm not going to stick one down yet because I have to wait for it to dry. So that can go over here. Let's see if Mr. Sungwani is ready. I think he might be. So I think I'm just going to do like a regular kind of just like a curvy cut like this. Nothing fancy. Nothing too um, precise. Yeah, this looks really cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh my God, that's so cool. Okay, I think I might have to keep this one for myself because that's awesome. Oh, wow. I love that. I love that a lot. Oh, okay. So that took um, less, uh, that, that was very fast. So the one is definitely hasn't dried. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, wait for stuff to dry and I'm also going to make other stuff um, and then I'll come back and show you guys what I made. Dun. See you in a bit. And here we have it. Wow. God, who knew that all of this could be made from one album, one photo book. Um, I'm not going to lie, this took me a long freaking time. <laughs> this took me like three hours to make all this stuff. Um, I didn't even realize how long it was taking me. And then I looked at the clock and was like, oh my God, is that the time? It was like 9 p.m. or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see, I made um, a lot of bookmarks. So these are the two that I made on the video. I also made, this is the Dina one that I was in the process of making. And then I made Jong-un, Wuji, DK, Sungwon, Minghao. And it's a very similar thing. So like on the back, it's got the close-up picture. Um, same with Wuji like this. So yeah, you can see pretty much like the same deal of each one. Um, I also, I liked this Sungwan idea so much that I uh, did it with Jun as well. Although, yeah, I need, I need to figure out what to do with the back of this because it doesn't look good with the... Um, I also, I found corner ones a lot more easily the second time round. So this is, there's a lot less uh, all over the place. It looks much more neat than the Sungwan one does. Um, oh, here's the Wanu frame um from before i think it looks so cool i also made one with vernon too um the same idea i think i used i think i just used random song lyrics oh i used dash uh, ash sorry for this one um and this one so this took me a long ass time um so i decided i wanted to use the whole song i used don quixote again um and yeah so what i did was i did the lyrics on here like this and it looked kind of boring so i wanted it to have a border and then these are from the front of the lyric booklet where it has all of the album types so i did it in order like 
um, control, shadow, ray, path, pioneer, the same down here. Uh, I think that looks really cool. And this is like the top of the lyric booklet as well. Um, but yeah, that took me a long time, so I don't think I'm going to make a lot of those because also it's too big to really send. Um, this one I really like. I, again, I need to, I think I'm going to stick this on like black paper or something, but um, I really, this picture of S Coops, I like the idea of um, the title of the album, like covering his eyes. I thought that was really cool. Um, and then this is all of the, again, the ones that I use for the border. It's just the gray because I thought that contrasted really well with the black of his shirt but yeah i think i yeah this is really weird on the back as well so um i'm gonna probably stick that on like a black piece of paper or something like that um but yeah i'm really happy with how these turned out they look so cool um i was planning on doing other booklets in this video but it took me so long to do pioneer um that i don't have time to do anymore um what i could do is um if you guys like this video and you found it interesting um i can do more with the other booklet so if you did like it you can um you can comment or you can like this video maybe i can do another like part two part three of, of the other versions um or even even if you don't want to see more but you still enjoyed it you can still like the video um if i don't make another video i'll put pictures up of the other um album versions what i make from it it will be fairly similar to this to be honest but i feel like pioneer this had a this like had a really key clear concept with the especially the color scheme so it might be slightly harder i think can uh not control shadow will be a good one there's lots of background imagery in shadow so that will be really easy to do backgrounds for that um i'm not sure about ray and path maybe control also but control is very gray color scheme um but anyway i'm talking too much <laughs> um so also if you are um part of my setting group boo for you group orders or and you join one of my group orders you're probably going to receive one of these in the mail um i'm the reason why i started making these in the first place was i'm sending out a bunch of packages tomorrow and i want to add stuff on um and so yeah, if you join in the future, you might you might get one too. <laughs> um, so yeah, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It was fun for me to make all this stuff. It's fun for me to reuse albums and know that they're going to something good and to support Seventeen. So um, I have a lot of other videos coming up soon and the, con oh my God, Be The Sun is next weekend. That's crazy. I cannot believe that. That's absolutely insane. So yeah, there's going to be videos for that coming up soon as well. But anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.